Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be playing Lily Lake so we're going to continue our episode series. Before we start doing anything, make sure you guys like and subscribe, so click that bell and say all notifications should have post a video. You have another case already. So there's a lot of things to unpack here. First, if I believe in the last episode, we were on Route 5 and we we're about to enter the area where, um, was it, was it, we're about to enter like, I think we we're going to go to Ignis Hollow. Now for some reason the footage, I did for that part just like it wasn't it didn't wasn't recording correctly and it's lost but I'm just gonna continue from there so basically in between there I think I did catch a Lumion I think I did catch did I catch a Lumion I can't remember if I really I can't remember because I felt so like bad I was like all that footage for it just to be like you know for it to be corrupted and stuff like that I don't know why that happened but it did so we're gonna continue and tread along with that. Hopefully this footage comes out okay. I think everything will be fine for this footage, so let's just continue. We're gonna go down here. First of all, let's check something real quick. Okay, let's bring that down. How about that? That that could that could also help and save us from that. Yeah. So basically we went, I think I'm not sure if we did this part in the last episode, but we basically went to the Huea like you know the bridge thingy and then we we realized that um what do you call it in the bridge um area that um when the bridge area realized that the person called Hateo, I think that was his name is was like taken to here so we're gonna continue from there. Alright, let's talk to the guy over here. Whoa Yeah they're all corrupted. Their eyes looks really weird though. It was they look like um like bugs kind of bug types, you know there's some bugs that have like eyes like that. I'm not really sure maybe it's just me. Maybe it might be me. I think we'll be able to use this to knock out rock crawler. But I think it's also a rock type so I think you can I think Rock type move might be effective. We have to be very careful because we're running um, low on health for um, cinema. So we have to be very, very careful in what we're doing. Because if we mess it up, then we're going to have to like go back. And I'm not trying to go all the way back. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a long that's a long way to go. Okay, this rock wall is doing too much. Yep. Yeah. That's what you get. That's what you get right there. That's what we need right there. All right. So let's use bug bite so we can get some health back. All right. Wish that would flinch. If that flinch, that would be good. Yep, that's what we need right there. That's what we need. So let's switch out. Who do we have that can help out with this? Let's go to Slugging. Slugging is a, a plant type, so plant type versus rock type. And I think it's a rock and ground type, so I think that would be effective. Is it rock and ground type? I think it's only, I think it's only, I think it might be both. I think it is. I think it's a rock and ground type. I think so. We'll see. I have to see first. Alright, nah, but that did nothing. Did it, it barely did anything. Super effective, but it barely did anything, I think. I think a slug slug is just really weak at this stage. Yeah, it's just really weak at this stage. It's level 17. It should it should be doing some major damage. We're gonna switch over to them, but take care of that. I don't know why I don't know why slug has a really low damage. I don't know why it's really not doing damage. Especially on the super effective move. You think that super effective move will do some things, but um it's not really doing anything. I also think that's something that Lumia still has to fix too. Because there's a lot of things in Lumia Legacy that like you think that the Lumia would be powerful but it's really not. I don't know why. Why the thing is always like that, but it's always somehow it just always has to, it always ends up to be like that. That's what I was trying to say. Alright, let's use Chomp. Hopefully that gets okay. I think that's it. I know he I think that's it. that's the first Lumia, right? So there might be more than one. I think there might be one and one. We'll see. Is there more than one? Is that it? Oh, it's about to send another rock roller. Yeah, let's switch to... I really don't know who to switch to because everybody's low on health. Like, I don't want anybody to die because if they die, well, that's not going to be good for me. So, we, we're, probably, we're probably just going to be able to like, finish this, like, the area in, like, this hollow. And then after that, we're probably just going to have to find something else to do. Probably going to have to do. Because, like, we have to heal up our Lumion. So we'll probably before even going to the Pagoda, which I wish we could all fit that in one video. Before we go to Pagoda, we're just definitely gonna have to like go up um into um we're definitely just gonna have to go into Hoya Village and then heal up from there because that's gonna make sense for us I guess. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so Border Blast is a rock type move, it doesn't affect cinema, but it's a flying type, right? So wouldn't it isn't there some moves? Isn't there doesn't rock type Moves be super effective. Maybe that's just in Pokemon. I think that might be in Pokemon. Rock type moves are effective against flying type instead of it not be able to hit at all. I think. Yeah, I know that one for sure. Flying types, yes, that one. But 
for the rock type i think that should be able to hit i don't know why i didn't hit really i don't even know why i didn't hit but maybe maybe in the lumi legacy like type of type sharp thingy it allows that for that to happen so it might be something that i have to, that i might have not looked over because I've, i don't think i really read the typing sheet or whatever for the lumi legacy um you know effective all that i've not really i don't think i have at all whoa and then yep he jumps comes back to real life huh who are you i must have had just i must have i must have just had okay i'm getting it that's that just tripped me off i'm i must have just had the greatest dream i dreamt that something strange happened at pagoda and her monsters were acting weird no it's not a dream sir i think i think that's quite weird real if you ask me Depending on who you're asking, if you're asking someone else, they might say something else. But for me, I fully believe that that was real because, like, sir, you just attacked me out of nowhere. So I think, I think maybe, just maybe, that might be real. So we're gonna heal up. Let's heal up our lumens up here because we need to heal them up. Oh, I didn't mean to click parachute twice. Oops, oops. I meant to use it on them, but that's what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Send them off. Let's use it on send them off. Let's get sluggling up. Okay, that's it. We're just gonna leave that because we need the other ones just in case. So that's a lot. I didn't even know I had that much push. A corrupted. Would you look at that? It's a corrupted skill. Y'all see how creepy that looks? Y'all saw that first image where, like, it looks so creepy. That looks so. Like, it looks so creepy. It looks so weird. Wow. I don't know how this skull decided to pull up a trick on me like that, but it did. It did. All right, let's look for. Let's use prayer tree. I think prayer tree has like a kind of like move that we can use that does a lot of like damage. So I'm not sure if it's like kind of a brave bird thingy. I don't know. It's funny for me to be able to see um this happening. I've not seen that in a while. I really haven't. And now just the the theme music too. Yeah, I've not I've not seen it corrupted on this account. I think this is the first time we'll ever see it corrupted on this account. That's interesting. And we can't catch either, unfortunately. It looks cool. Some corrupted some corrupted Lumion look cool though. Like some of them look cool, but you just can't catch them because oh I just let me like see I guess. It's up to speed so I don't know what we're gonna do with that, but I'm just gonna leave that there. Alright, let's try to make it here without finding any more corruptors or any more lumens. I can't make it there. It's always cutting me off because of the thing. And then if you guys didn't realize why is the music different for the economy because they changed it before it, it, it like the igneous hollow it was okay. I don't know why. Well I don't really know why they changed it. I'm not really complaining in a sense, but some of the music doesn't rhyme. Like this music is heartbeat. It doesn't really rhyme with a place like Igneous Hollow. So excuse me. I personally think that there should be different, there should be like cool music, but I feel like for this section, there should be a music that goes with this one or the original music. Anyway, whoa, 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 I think what I said, whoa, I think what I said, I can't, I can't really check. All right, a cohort monk. Get close, so I think if I'm right, I should, nope, I'm not right. Never mind. I was like, I think if I'm right, but I what I do know is that Vambat is effective against dark type and light type. So, I mean, Vambat, yeah, dark type is against it against light type, and light type is effective against dark type. So we have to be very careful because that's what Gecko like to be doing. Like it pulls a stick, a, a quick move on you, and then before you know it, it uses a light move, and you think that oh, it's not going to use one, but it actually does. That's what it does for me for the most part. Like I was lucky to to get Gecko and hit one like that, because sometimes it doesn't do that, you know. So. You have to be real careful what you're doing. All right, nope. We're gonna leave We don't have water type lumens so that I think I'm gonna have to pick up some water type lumens. Which luckily there is a beach that we can pick up water type lumens, but that's a long, that's a long way in episode. So it is, it's really it doesn't feel long, but it's a really long way in episode. So we have to really like watch that. Let's just dive bomb again. Does, I think that, does that do recoil? I don't think it does. Does it? Does it do recoil? It might. I think oh he does dodge damage. That's a, that's a big um, NG cough move too. You have to be very careful with that too. All right, I don't know how despair did damage like that, but it did. That's interesting. All right, let's just dive. Oh my god, it just used my NG cough thing. That's really annoying. 
That just that that just wasted my NG cost right there. And after you fill it again, that's just annoying. I don't let them do damage. Don't do damage. Doesn't have to be effective to do damage. Doesn't have to be. I don't know that's not doing damage. Or criticals. Like that did nothing. I don't know how you I don't know is is his evasiveness up? Because I remember one time I was playing the game and the evasiveness of the fake mom was high and I couldn't even hit the the um what do you call it? I couldn't even hit the the fake mom because like the thing was too high and I'm like why can't I hit this thing for it was I think it was a good it was a good minute. I think it was do the world do the world yeah that's what it was and I, for a good ten minutes I literally couldn't hit this fake mom or doodle that's the name that's what they call it. I literally, we're, we're gonna do an episode series on that. I literally could not hit the doodle like for a good 10 minutes and I was like, it's just a bug or like what is going on? Like I, I was so, I was so mad because I kept on pressing the move and because my evasiveness was low, I literally could not attack and I, and I felt so mad. But that's what the first man, but that's what the first man, because that, that health is way too low. It hit him way too low. We have to be careful. I think this should be the last one, but we're gonna we're gonna end the episode early because of how long it does take to go through. We're gonna end the episode after this one. Then we're gonna come back or to the next one. I might do a double upload today. I might do. That's why I said last time, and there was no double upload. So, but I think I might do a double upload to get that episode. We might do that, or we might just combine it all together. Whoa! What am I doing so close to the edge? It's dangerous in here. Be careful. You tell me. You tell me, sir. What you doing? All right, let's let's look at what this is. I thought that was the, for the cutscene. I didn't know that was for the Lumion. There's too many. Just the kind of chance in here is way too high for the Lumion. It's way too high. All right, let's go see what's going on here. Please don't do this, Germ. It's me, Hirito. We used to train together. Don't you remember? Wow. Ah. This doesn't make any sense. Someone, please help me. Me comes to rescue. Please, dear trainer, will you help me do something? You need to be quick. Gua! So we have to attack the Carb Monk, which we just learned the name. But of course, the name is still Carb Monk. Alright. I thought I said, Kap I thought that said Katunga for a second. I was about to get, I was like, what? So I hold up, something ain't right. I thought I said Katunga. That's what I thought I said. Not Kabunga. I was about to say, like, something ain't right. Imagine if the developers, I think the developers would have done that. They could have done that for like the April Fools though. April Fools and change like some women's name. Like Skill Lava? I don't know, I keep going on. For like Skill Lava, they could have put Skill, like the actual word Skill, and then Lava next to it, you know? And then Cinemoth, they can put Sin. I don't know what they can do for Cinemoth, but they could have put something there to like, you know, add a joke to it for April Fools. They could have. It's possible. Alright, hopefully we're able to finish this part. I don't want, I hate cutting like episodes short, so I'm going to try to finish this part. And after this part, we're going to go into the next episode, we're going to try again. I think I'll do a double upload today. Because I'm not, I don't really do really like much editing, which I'm going to work on, but I don't really do much editing on these kind of like videos. So it, it won't take me long if the video is not too long. It won't take me long to upload and, you know, make the thumbnail and everything like that. So yeah. This in the month. Another thing I also want to talk about is I wish like um what do you call it? Oh, it's learning another move. I wish that um what they would do for some things in the game is that they would add extra save files so that or multiple slots so that people like me who are content develop um content um you know makers and you know content creators writer people who are like that they can just literally switch the slots and load in. Um, excuse me. They can load in the, um, I don't know why I'm yawning, but they can load in the, um, um, they can load in their, this kind of account instead of having to make another account or using their alt account just to make that. I will use my alt account because my personal account has my stuff. I can't resell my stuff. No, that's not happening. 
So I can't reset all, all my stuff just to that. But they have multiple save stuff. All I have to do is go to the back to the menu. So they will have or have like a kind of save feature where you can go back and say, oh, load would save or whatever. It's so for that. All right, we're going to switch to Rockwella. Um, we're going to switch for Rockwella because we don't want to die. So we're going to switch to Slugman. Hopefully, we'll be able to get um, the effectiveness of the plant type move on Rockwella. If it's effective. If it's too effective, it should be. Oh, no, I meant to click fight. I meant to click fight. All right, let's try this. Swipe. That's going to do a lot of damage. It did. It did do a lot of damage right there. You have to be careful about that. That didn't. It said super effective, but it did nothing. I think something might be wrong with Lemon Lexi because it said super effective. And it did absolutely nothing. I've never seen something like that before. That's that's new to me. That's new for me to going to make something that it does nothing. No, that, that's that's new. Just new for me. All right. Let's see me. I don't know why I keep on yawning. I'm not even tired. So, it's not even late. I don't know why I keep on yawning. It might be because, like, when you're doing videos and you're talking, you know, like, you en en engulf, like, so much air. And, you know, when you do that, it causes you to, um, you know, engulf air. And when sometimes you can make yourself yawn by just, you know, opening, by letting air flow, by go in, and then it makes you yawn, stuff like that. So, I think that's what happened. That's what happened for me in this video. Something I have to work on. Move. Yes. So we got that experience. So I guess we just keep on doing more. Yeah, we just keep on doing more, and we can get the mastery. I'm not. I'm not gonna really work on mastery for this game on camera. I might do it off camera, but not on camera. Ugh, my head is killing me. What happened? Hmm. I wonder what. Hey, so why are we here? Hmm. You remember me? Oh, thank goodness. Of course I remember you. What are you talking about? You were not yourself. You said this something took over your mind. What? That's nonsense. What you're saying isn't even possible. Unfortunately, I believe you may be wrong. Yep. Father, you're here. I came as quickly as I could. Is everyone alright? Yes, we are. Thanks to, uh... What's your name? Oh, well, Jomi, thank you for coming to my rescue. I'm very grateful to you. So, Father, how did you find us? One of the monks ran into the sound town and collapsed right outside the bar theater. I was notified and rushed to his side. I asked what happened, and he recounted that some of the other monks in the pagoda became violent. He watched some of the, the monks chase you this way. What would have caused them to turn so violent, Father? I've never seen anything like it. On my way here, I got caught up in a battle. And one of our beloved, beloved, not beloved, beloved elders who had gone mad. Yes, crazy. I defeated him and he came and he seemed to come to his senses. He made something crash into the upper floor of the pagoda. Wherever it is, it must be the source of our problems. Yes, it's coming back to me. Last I remember I was going downstairs to check on the noise I was hearing, the noises. That's all I can. That's all I can remember before waking up here, though. The top floor is where Ikizun rests when it visits. You don't think Ikizun would have anything to do with do with this, do you? I don't believe so. I do remember reading through some old, from very old, old text stories away in the pagoda. Stories about a case very similar to ours, very long ago. It might be a good idea for me to find those scrolls and pour them once more to see what I can learn. However, it's a safe to enter the pagoda until we can first solve the case at hand. According to some of the monks, there are still several urgent inside who have turned. I have an idea. Maybe Jomi could help think about it. Jomi single, 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 that's what I am. Single handily fought over their way through several of the other effective elders to get here. Experiences against this dark force might be just what we need right now. What do you say, Jomi? We help us figure out what's causing the mess in the pagoda. I like how I didn't say anything at all, but of course I said yes somehow. Excellent, I'm glad we can count on you. I will go ahead and make, make preparations to ensure you can reach the pagoda. Ordinary citizens cannot normally access the pagoda without Special permission, but this certainly warrants an exception. I'll have 
a word with the elders guarding the path so that they will let they will know to let you through. The village at the top of the hill of Route 5. If you need anything, I will be in Huea Village. Good luck, I am counting on you. We can't return to the pagoda right now, so I think we'll just head home. Thanks again for helping us. Good luck with the monks at the pagoda. And with that, I think they changed the the um, Ignils. Uh, I think they changed the music for this bit. But with that being said, thank God for watching. I hope you got enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, oh my God, not a Lumian. If you are not not Lumian, my outro. If you are new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe, and click that bell, and set all notifications. And if you guys enjoyed the episode, let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about this episode, and you know what what you guys like about it, or what could be improved and stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, or click that bell, and set all notifications. Say I'm posting video, you have notifications to you. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.